everyone welcome to noble creative tutorials today we are going to talk about how to optimize your images with a perfect balance in quality and file size in photoshop with using several ways to save your photos with uh, built-in photoshop save methods and third-party plugins so we are going to see the first one is a jpeg mini and then a tiny png and then save for web in photoshop and see and and uh, which one it's give us the quality and file size so for this photo here we see for uh it's a really good picture that um in quality and we want to see how much it is in file it's been um i worked on it on photoshop and save save it using the normal save method so we know just save and optimize by photoshop and it is actually the size of it is 11 megabytes and the other tools it's going to give us this one the tiny is going to give us 130 megabyte and the jpeg mini 4 and then the Photoshop uh, on 50% reduction is going to give us two megabyte. And I have here three photos that we are going to compare and see. So uh, let's start with this one. So the JPEG Mini is extension that really is simple and it's doing everything you don't you don't need to do to worry about anything else like the color management or how to compress your photos so it just hit the export with jpeg mini and it's it do all the magic so just uh export and let's save it on this one i already saved mini so i'm just to demonstrate for you so it's been saved and it's actually give us that 4.3 uh, me 30 megabyte and I are I already bring them into Photoshop to comparing those photos together uh, so let's start with the JPEG one JPEG mini and see what it's doing with the original one so create a mask and see so we have the jpeg mini in this side and the original one in this side so let's see here is the, the separate line between the two images here at 100 hundred zoom in you really can tell that's been compressed it give us uh four megabyte and it's almost maintain the quality of the original photo so here you really can tell that's been compressed I, i'm turning on and off you can't really see anything so it's been like you can tell so we're going to zoom more and see you can tell a little bit of changing in the pixels but not really that much um, you can see in the hands get a little bit pixelating but still maintaining the the quality of the image here you can see in this area you get a little bit of pixelating there but that remember it's zoomed in in 200 um, at 100 you really can tell it's been compressed so let's see the the other one the tiny which give us one megabyte on 100 zoom in you can see some pixelating like it's it you can see, you can notice that a little bit but still kind of um, um good reduction it's it's acceptable if you are going to use it for the web um, or your blog so in in 200 you can see so much so you can see a lot of compressing and it's it's noticeable there and for the web so we use the photoshop 
uh, save for the web and give it quality of 50 15 and 50 sorry and it's actually do a good job so it's give us almost two megabyte there and let's see we have it here and you can see some pixelating show up on the image like there is some pixels that you see like they are being moved so let's see that with JPEG Mini so I think JPEG Mini is it just did a, a really good job because it it's try to maintain the, the quality of the picture and it's give us four megabyte from the original which is for a which is really 11 megabyte which is really big and been saved from photoshop so i think um jpeg uh, mini is really good for photos that you can just tell it's been compressed at uh, 100 so it's good i think on this picture so let's see the other one which have some more contrast there so here we have so here we go with jpeg mini first at 100 you can't tell anything that's being changed you really can't in this picture at 100 you can tell let's see here in the shadows let's try 200 a little bit in 200 you can see some stuff happening in the shadows but really not too much so let's see the JPEG mini. JPEG mini is very pixelating, so it's like killing uh, the picture to the maximum uh, reduction. It's re reducing the image to give the the really file size really small. While JPEG mini is trying to uh, reducing the quality and the file size, so it's keep trying to make it really good in quality and file size so and let's see the photoshop web save here it's it, it's really too much noisy here pixelating you can see that's been so uh, jpeg mini is really good it it, it did a, a lot a lot of good job here um I see here JPEG mini you can tell let's see how much give us in the file size here is the tiny give us one and half and JPEG mini almost like three and half and the original is 11 and a half and the web uh, from Photoshop give us one and a half megabyte so JPEG mini a little bit higher than them but it maintained the quality so let's try this third one You can tell that's been compressed. It's uh, let's see, tiny. There is some pixelating in dark area, and, and a little bit blurriness here. And let's see the Photoshop save for web. It's 
it did a good job here in this picture. So that's why I think in Photoshop, save for web, it depends on different pictures. It's not always perfect for all of the photos, but JPEG Mini, it's really good almost for all the photos. It gives them a really good result and you can just um, tell it's been reduced. So the JPEG Mini, it's a third-party uh, plugin, which do a really good job. And that's their website. I think it's worth of 100 US dollar, I, I believe. Yeah, and the tiny PNG is $50 for getting the plugin. It's on Mac and, and Windows and the same for JPEG Mini, they are for boats. And the JPEG Mini, you can actually use it for, uh, for free if your file size is five megabyte and you can just drag your photo here which we're going to try and see what it's going to do here file too 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 large and you need to go pro for this to be uploaded so you can't you need to use a photo that maximum of five megabyte and if you are going to use it for the web or just for your website you can just uh, use tiny pin JPEG and track your photos here and it's producing them very good. So hope you like this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos coming soon. Thank you for watching.